Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'm going to be replacing the throttle cables on the Vincent. Here are the throttle and the choke cables that I recently took off the bike. As you'll see, it's a two into one arrangement where the two cables come into this splitter box, they call it a splitter box, and then the single cable that goes up to the handlebars. Same with the choke as well. Just to give you an idea of what the splitter looks like inside, There's a barrel in there, you can see that it takes the end of the single cable that goes up to the handlebars and then it has provision for the other bottom half cables that go to the carburetors. Yeah, even with a single cable, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of interdependencies and connections, as you can see. Uh, so the single cable comes from the throttle housing here at the handlebars. Um, we're trying to get a nice smooth bend in here. I like the adjuster, it's, it's good having that there. Um, but it's supposed to tuck in under the gas tank, close to this upper frame member. And then from here, the longer cable, goes to the rear cylinder and carburetor like so which is reasonably okay there's a reasonably smooth bend here like this the other one's a problem though with having the splitter you've got to take this other one under the upper frame member and out and up and into the recess of the underside of the gas tank and then over and into the carburetor at a pretty tight bend. And that's a bit of a problem in terms of the smoothness, the action of the cable. What I'm trying to do here is measure the current cable setup. Um, the overall length might change, actually. I might find some efficiencies in the way that I route the cables uh, around the bike to get to each carburetor independently. Um, but what's most important is the amount of exposed inner cable that I'll need, because that should be constant regardless of the overall length of the cable that I cut. So the most important measurement will be between this red line and the blue line. And that's essentially the end of the inner cable and the end of the outer cable. Also taking into account this ferrule as well, because the new ferrule with the new cable might be a different length. So let's call this measurement A. And then here again, it's going to be between the red line here, which is just before the nipple, and here, which is just at the end of the outer sleeve of the cable, but also including the ferrule that goes up into the handlebar throttle assembly. And so let's call that B, the difference between those two points. And we're going to add those together and those are going to represent how much inner cable should be exposed after I've built the extensions and added the adjusters. I put the original throttle cable back on the bike uh, just to see what it looks like um, for a couple of reasons. Uh, the first is I want to see how long I need to make this single cable that goes to the rear carburetor. And just judging by the way that it flows, I think it's a good length. It doesn't look like it's too long or too short. So I'll stick with this original length for the new cable. Obviously it won't have the splitter or the adjuster here. It'll have the adjuster up here. Um, and that's the, uh, the second point, is this adjuster does seem to interfere a little bit with the bend of the cable. And so what I think I'm going to do is take this adjuster here for the new cable and move it maybe here. So instead of at what, six inches from the throttle, maybe at three inches from the throttle, and then the bend should be a little smoother with just the cable itself. I bought these universal cable kits from Venhill in the UK. Two of these. One for each carb, of course, and they come with all the fasteners, the adjusters, and some nice rubber sleeves for the adjusters. 
and then inner and outer cables as well and they're long enough I went for the longer version and I'll leave a link in my description of the ones that I bought but uh, I think there are two kinds a shorter one and a longer one and I went for the longer one so uh, the first job will be to cut the first piece um, I'm going to do that short piece up by the throttle about three inches this one's already got the end crimped on what I'm trying to do here is simulate what the cables will look like when they're made up. I'm just using little cable ties that I've cut just to simulate the two lengths of cables for both carburetor throttle cables. So, um, and I'm glad I did actually because the kit came with different parts and so a couple of pieces missing that I would need to do this configuration. So that's all I'd say is look out for that whenever you're building your own cables. But anyway, uh, here we are. Uh, so we've got the dual throttle, we've got the ferrules that go into the throttle assembly, uh, little caps there for the cables. I had uh, extra rubber boots, uh, plastic boots, so I've added them at each junction. So then the rubber boot here, the cable, another rubber boot, another cap, the adjuster. What I've done here is I've set the adjuster to halfway so that uh, if, uh, by a margin of error I should be able to either adjust to make it tighter or slacker. Hopefully that'll work out. And then it's just repeated here as well. This is uh, to simulate the longer cable with the rubber boots uh, fitted first of course before I put these end caps on. Although I suspect you can get those over these little end caps. And then finally, these are nice, these are little ferrules that should go well into the carburetors and they'll help in terms of giving a nice gradual bend. What I'm doing here is just the final measurements for the longer piece of cable. What's the old saying? Measure twice, cut once. I've measured about 10 times. Just to be sure, I hope that this is gonna be right. Okay, I think that's the outer cable done. Uh, there's a lot to be said for ready-made cables, isn't there? But where's the fun in that? Uh, and the key points, I think, if I was to summarize, and I'll do a, maybe a summary at the end of this video, but um, for the outside cable, it's this, these steps here that are the most important. Here at one end, for example, the cable lengths are different, but the most important measurement is here that lip or that step, that's where it goes into the carburetor. And similarly here. So if you peel this back, I'll try not to disturb everything. If you take that off, and then you take the end of the cable off, this is the end of the cable. Um, but you need to take this and this into account so that this step here is the same length as this step here. And then very happy with the look of the cable overall it's a lot neater here you can see you don't have to deal with that adjuster there or the splitter and there'll be other challenges but I'll get to those 
And then at the far end, going up to the throttle, you'll see I've introduced that adjuster a little higher up, well, quite a bit higher up, it's half uh, the measurement of the original one, which I think was six inches. And now it's at three inches. And again, looking at that step, I'm out by about a millimeter. So hopefully there will be a sufficient adjustment here to take care of that. Just looking at the ends of the inner cables, these nipples, uh, this end is very much the same, but on this end, this is the end that needs cutting. And so that's the nipple that I want to replicate that goes inside the throttle. And as I look through the box of spares, it looks like these smaller, are these trunnions? Uh, these smaller trunnions seem to be the best fit for inside the throttle. Uh, they're perhaps a little looser than I had hoped, but actually they're the best fit because they spin inside that throttle housing, whereas the other ones are just too tight. They're perhaps a better fit going in, but they will not turn and I just don't want them to stick while they're inside there. Maybe with a bit of work they would work. Mm, let me look at that. It might need to be filed, that's the only problem. I don't want it to be too tight in here. So I think what I'll do is I'll go with the, the smaller ones. Otherwise that's going to be too tight, when, especially when the cable's soldered. So that's the inner cable fitted all the way back inside the outer cable and the adjuster and this smaller outer cable. And now just to fit this trunnion through, and the cable hasn't been cut or anything yet, so it should pass through nice and easily. And there it is. So now we just need to cut this inner cable um, roughly um, before we start uh, soldering it. Okay, just a final look before I start cutting and soldering. There's the inner cable, the nipples, or the ends of the nipples are all lined up. And then as we go to the other end of the cable, I've just fed that trunnion on to the inner wire, the inner cable. I'm just going to mark to the left of that trunnion so that it will act as a reference point for where that needs to be. See how this fits in the throttle? Great. That's a nice fit. Okay, now we'll try and fit it on the bike. 
All right, I'll start refitting at the carburetor end first of all. There's the cap. There's a new, this is the, the nipple that was already part of the cable, didn't make this. Uh, so just feeding that through the cap. Fit in the spring. And then just putting that through here for now. I'll fit the safety pin later. And I've removed the choke as well, the choke mechanism. There we go. I'll just put this on loose for now. One thing I really did like about this kit was these pieces here. I thought perhaps that that would be a nice fit into the top of the carburetor. And then the cable goes in there like that, just to give it a little bit more strength. And obviously I'll fit the rubber boot later. And what I'm doing here, just making sure that the cable's the right length, first of all. And then we move up to the handlebars. Looks like we have a decent amount of inner cable still free. Hope not, hope it's not too much. And then we take the ferrule, goes on there, fit that through the one of the dual holes for the uh, throttle assembly. Let's just take that one, doesn't matter which one at the moment. That goes in there. And then we need the throttle and we need this outer one to match the hole that we've just pushed the cable through. Take that. There, oop. There. Put that in. Put that on here. Fit the cap. And just Nip this up for now. First glance, it seems like it's too long. We will, we'll, we'll get there. Let's just see how this goes. Yeah, looks like it's way too long. All right, let's keep going, because we can always adjust a little bit. Uh, let's just do some initial adjustment. Back and, no, nah, it's not gonna work. Too long. <laughs> yeah, look at that. If you can see that already, that's with the <laughs> adjuster completely out. Okay, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, it just means that I need to cut the cable shorter by this length in just a second, and then resolder the nipple further down from there. That's where it should be at rest. And then if I pull that out, so for essentially if I cut from here to here, yeah, 18.8 millimeters or three quarters of an inch nearly. It's more than I expected. I'm not quite sure what I did wrong there, but oh well, at least it's too long and not too short. I've also left just a little bit more adjustment just in case I cut too much. Thank you. 
Well, it definitely seems a lot better this time. It's a lot tighter. Just a little adjustment here, and I'll continue to refine this. I'll just leave it at that for now, and then do more adjustment when it's running. forgotten I still need to put the security pin in here as well that's the first cable completed <laughs> and now to repeat it for the second cable yeah nice smooth line under here under there behind the cable clip out here and up to the throttle that is further down than I thought I thought it was going to be right up there but it's actually fine and that's going to tuck in under the tank. It might be a little bit more like that, actually. Oh, that's better. Okay, that's it. Everything seems to be working just fine. Both cables are on. Carbs are bottoming out so the cable isn't too tight. We've got plenty of adjustment here and I've just rolled it. I did go underneath after all. <laughs> after making a big fuss about that, I did go underneath. I think it would be safer and easier to do that than to go round or under the headstock. So I'm pleased with that. They're, they're both great. They look nice. I also changed these Allen bolts as well with some slotted screws. They're, they're metric. This is an MGO unit. Um, but I got these from CBS as well, and I'll put a link in the description. They look nice. They look more original. Well, that's another job done, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a lot longer than I expected. I'm sorry. And uh, the job itself took way longer than I, I anticipated. It was pretty fussy. And if you were to ask me, would I make my own cables again? I'm not sure. Maybe we'll see when the bike's running again and see if there's a notable difference. Uh, it was an interesting project, um, but let's just see and maybe do some fine tuning when the bike's running. But for now, uh, I'll speak to you again soon. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you later.